In this how to we are going to learn how to work with the nested master pages. Nested master page means one master page inside another master page. Okay, and this hierarchy can go on and on. So let, let let's learn that. So first let us create one master page. So here is the code of my one master page. So I have copied it and let me now create a master page here. Add a new item master page my master page name is master page dot master and add <coughs> and then I am going to copy and paste it there now you can see that in this master page we have the almost a default content that when you create a new master page then it comes <coughs> but apart from that what we have done is that I have write a uh, text this text is from parent master page and in the paragraph so that we will know that okay parent master page is also ending something and then we have one content placeholder inside the body tag whose name is content placeholder one fine now let's cre create another master page so for that what we'll do is that we'll create a create a child master page dot master so let me right click it add a new item master page and I am going to write its name as child master page dot master and remember that I, I will s click on this checkbox called select master page because I want to inherit this master page with my parent master page so add and then I selected my parent master page and clicked OK now in this master page you will notice that I have two content tag based on the content placeholder we have on the parent master page so we have one content placeholder and this is another content placeholder and we also have here two content and for the first content placeholder and this is for the second content placeholder now because this is the master page so we will have to uh, add one content placeholder here also so that when I will add one ASPX page and inherit this master page child master page then for that ASPX page also there will be one content tag so for that what I'm going to do is that I'm going to copy and paste the code from my ebook so <coughs> this is what I have done so here is my again text written this text is from child master page just to make sure that when my page as text page will render all these things are coming on the page so that I will know that okay this text is coming from the parent this text is coming from the child and this, this text is coming from the content page and once we have uh, the text then I have as said I have placed one content placeholder here notice that you will have to explicitly write this content placeholder okay so here I have placed a content placeholder and its and its ID is child content placeholder now once we have two master pages parent and the child then now I'm going to create one ASPX page and for this ASPX page I will also click on select master page and click add now what I will do is that master page of this ASPX page I am going to select as child master page so ok now once we have created the ASPX page we will notice that on the ASPX page we will have only one content tag because on the child master page we have only one content placeholder so that's why for this content placeholder we have a corresponding content tag here with same content placeholder id child content placeholder and here also child content placeholder and now on this page on this aspect page i am going to write some text so let us uh, let me copy and paste the text from my ebook to here and it is written this text is from content page <coughs> so now what is happening let, let me rephrase again first we have created a master page in the master page we have two content placeholder then we have created one child master page and I have inherited this child master page from the master page so because on the master page we have two content placeholders so corresponding two content tag is there and then we have a created one content placeholder inside the child master page and then I have created one default dot ASPX page it means the content page that will inherit from my child master page now because this child master page having 
only one content placeholder so corresponding content tag will be created on the aspx page or, or on the content page and for all those three pages for the master page i have written some text for child master page i have written some text and for the content page also i have written some text now when i'm running this page you will see that the output will look like this where content from the parent master page child master page and the content page will come see here this text is from parent master page you can see here red color is coming and then this text is from child master page you can see that this is coming child master page and then you can see that this text is from content page you can see that this text is from content page so this is the way to basically uh, nest multiple master pages in asp.net now the next how to is how to access master page control from the content page there might be scenario where you have kept some control on the master page and you want to uh, access that control from the content page okay in this example i have placed one level control on the master page and i am going to access that level control from my aspx page so let us see how to do that so uh, first what we have done is that we have created one master page so let me create one master page here okay and on this master page i have kept one very simple uh, label so let me copy and paste it so this is this is one text first so here is my text and then we have one label after this content placeholder so here is my label fine so my master page is done now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to create one content page okay so right click add new item and content page select master page checkbox and then i have inherited this master page here fine now what i'm going to do is that in the code behind of the content page i'm going to write some code so let me go to the code behind of this aspx page and copy paste this code now remember what i am doing here on my master page i have a this level control lbl master page message and my purpose is to access this label into the content page so what i am doing is that i am creating first a variable of the level control and then using this dot master dot find control we are accessing we are trying to find out the label that exists on the master page so you can see that using this dot master you can get the reference of the master page and then you can use the find control method the way i am using here you can see this find control and again once we have you have the find control method then you can pass the id of the label that you want to find out and that will basically give you the reference of the uh, label control that exists in uh, on the master page now once you have that and uh, it has found the label control successfully on the master page then this lbl master variable will be not null and if it is not null then what i am doing is that i am writing lbl master means this uh, variable dot text equal to this text is written from the content page now remember that if i, I will write the id of the label that doesn't exist on the master page then what will happen is this variable will be null okay so it is always suggested that whenever you are trying to find any control from either a master page or nested master page then first you should check for the null variable if it is null by some chance then you just uh, do not try to access that control otherwise you will get null reference exception on the page so uh, now let me run this page now when i will run this page what will happen is that this label will be written with this text so let me show you this view in browser and you can see that this text is written from master page as it is coming from the master page here and in place of this text the text written from the code behind will come the text is written from the content page you can see this so this is the way to basically access the 
master page control from the content page now here I have just seen uh, shown accessing the level control in the same way you can access the text box grid view or any other control that exists on the master page in the next how to we are going to learn how to access master page variable or property from the content page you might have scenario where uh, you have declared some kind of property or any variable on the master page and you want to access that property from the content page in the earlier how to we had seen just reverse but here what we are doing is that we are trying to access the master page variable from the content page so let me show you that for that what I have done that I have first created one uh, uh, master page so let me create one master page again here add new master page and add so what it does is it basically creates a master page now I have one label control on the master page so I'm just copying and pasting it here and its ID is LBL master label fine let us see if we have something into the code behind yes we have something into the code behind so let me copy and paste so let me go ahead and copy paste the code from the code behind as well so in the master page code behind we have first one property and that property name is basically master page variable and what I'm doing is that I'm I'm setting the text of the label control that exists on the master page to the master page variable so if master page variable will have some value that value will appear into this label control fine now let me go ahead and see what we have on my uh, ASPX page so first let us create the ASPX page so right click add new item default.aspx page select master page and ok so I have created one ASPX page that will is basically inheriting from the master page dot master now let me go ahead and show you that what more we need to add on the content page so on the content page we need to add one more directive called master type directive and in the master type, type directive we need to specify the virtual path and that virtual path will be nothing but the path of the master page I am going to write the path of my master page so my master page of this particular uh, uh, default.aspx is nothing but master page dot master that exists on the parent folder now once we have done that then we will be able to access the uh, master page property using master object into the content page so I'm, I went to the uh, code behind of the content page and I'm just writing master dot master page variable equal to this text is written from the content page now what will happen because I have specified explicitly on this default.aspx page that my master type virtual path is master page dot master so what it will do is that it will basically give us an option to use the, this master page class using this master uh, object and then using this master object we will be able to access the property that exists on this master page and we will be able to play with that property so here I am just setting that property variable so the, this line of code will basically set the set this text into the master page master page variable and that will basically write as the text of the label control so let me go ahead and run this page you can see that this text is written from the content page see here I am writing this from the content page but it is getting written in into the master page and that I am using doing using the master type directives on the content page now remember that this master type directives is very important see right now uh, if I will run this page you will notice that it is working without any error but as soon as I will remove this master type directive and I will refresh this page you will notice that it will start throwing error because it is not able to detect this master page variable so this master uh, type directive is very very imp important because this master type directive basically helps us to access the, the master page of this content page using the master object 